What's good everybody, it's your boy Marks and I'm back with another video. On this channel, I make reselling content. Uh, I do sourcing from Goodwill, Goodwill Outlets, Amazon Band Return Stores, uh, garage sales, anywhere that I could buy stuff for a lower price and then sell it at a higher price, I'm there. Uh, so if that seems like something that you're into, please make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell so you guys will know when I drop another video. So in this video, I got something different today. This one is a mystery box from my homie over at Flip the World. You guys know Chris. He's the trash and the cash king, the king of the Goodwill bins. So um, he posted that he had a mystery box for sale. And this is all trash right here, guys. Stuff he found in the trash and, you know, put in a mystery box. I paid 75 bucks for this box. So there's a potential profit margin. I believe he said from the range of 125 to 225 so there's a pretty good amount of profit to be made and i just wanted to open this box up and show you guys what was in it and uh we can go through it together and figure out if it'll be worth it for you guys to get one for yourself so without further ado let's bust into this box together and see what my homeboy sent me i'm pretty excited about this honestly guys because my guy's killing it with the trash and the cash, man. So if you guys have ever watched any of his videos, and if you haven't watched any of his videos, you guys are tripping. You need to go over there and check it out. Flip the World TX on Instagram. Flip the World on uh, YouTube. My guy's killing it over there. So he just reached 1,000 subscribers as well. So go ahead and show him some love, guys. Even if you don't buy anything from him, go smash that subscribe button, man, to support my guy. So... First up, we got a uh, thank you note. Thank you for your support. Hope you love your dumpster mystery box. We value the contents around 175 to 225 based on what we would list them at. Well, there you go. Thank you from Chris and Stacy. Thank you, Chris and Stacy. You guys are the bee's knees. So this box is full to the brim, guys, and goodies here. Oh snap. This is my shirt that I bought from, or well, this is, so just for you guys that don't know, I was the 1,000th subscriber, and this is my gift for being that 1,000th subscriber. So we got the winner's win with the uh, like slot machine, FTW for Flip the World on the back. Winner's win. Flip the world, boy, that thing smacked. I'm gonna have to put this on to do the video with. We're back, I'm rocking the Flip the World merch. Gotta represent for the homie. All right, so we're gonna jump into this vintage Levi's Silver Tabs. Uh, Stonewash, straight from out of the 90s, boy. Like, this brings back memories. <laughs> for real, for real. Uh, I don't know what the cell comps are on any, uh, any of these. But I'll look every item up and I'll pop some comps up on the screen for you guys so you guys will know what I can what I can get for them. So that's the first item. The second item is looks like a Ralph Lauren long sleeve polyester maybe nylon polo shirt with the with the Ralph uh, with the polo horse on there. Ralph Lauren on the tag. Blue label size extra extra large so it's a it's a good size it should sell well next up is uh gillette supreme i guess this is like a a blow dryer a vintage blow dryer so i don't know what this is going to go for either but that should sell well too oh i ain't seen one of these in years Old school Nokia phone. It's not a flip phone, but it's still a little tiny track phone. That's the fourth item. This box is full of stuff, guys. Okay, so the fifth box is... Oh, man, I just saw a bunch of these at the Goodwill the other day. It's a tape cassette. Harry Potter tape cassette. Where like you listen to the book on the tapes. This is uh before they had uh maybe it's not though. This is like Audible before Audible was around. 1999, yeah. Vintage uh Harry Potter 
Chamber of Secrets audiobook. Oh, uh, snap. Now, if you guys follow him on Instagram, you guys would have seen that they got these uh, Jack Daniels hats along with some other hats uh, the other day, probably about a week ago. So this right there, that's a nice, that's a nice hat. I don't know what the comps are on this, but Jack Daniels vintage trucker snapback. Made in Louisville, Kentucky. There's no label on it, but the snapback itself says Louisville, Kentucky on there. Next up, we got, we actually have a Samsung flip phone. I don't know if these things work or not. I'll have to find some chargers for them. Next up, shoe trees. Nice. I need these. These will go for the personal for when I'm cleaning the shoes that I thrift. Thanks, Chris. My guy. I don't know what this is. Next up, we got a... Uh, says Coast on it. So, I'm not sure. Oh, okay. It's a camera. A Canon... Short shot zoom. Now these actually bring some decent money, and it's got the uh, the strap with it. These actually do about 25, 30 bucks, I believe. Uh, never did I think I would get excited about trash, like for real. We got a, uh, it's the Barcelona Soccer Club watch. I don't know what this is a go for, but. Can't be mad at it. Not mad at it at all. This has a good following, though. The uh, Barcelona Soccer Club does. We got us uh, Revereware. Revereware two-quart pot with the lid. Super clean copper bottom. And the lid. This right there is a good flip. Thanks, my guy. Dekine. Dekine uh, mitts. These will probably sell to somebody in Alaska or something. I was talking to Dustin, the pro picker from Ohio, about a Carhartt jacket I found yesterday. And he said it'll probably sell to somebody in Alaska, which is crazy because that's what I always say about stuff because it's starting to warm up. So that's what I always say about the cold stuff. If you love your item, please leave us feedback. Find us on YouTube and I sure will, buddy. Check him out. For those of you that don't know, this is... Like his little business card and stuff. So check him out, man. Flip the world. Last item up is Ed Hardy shorts. Look at the bug-eyed tiger. Faded, distressed look on the front. These are a size, a size 40. So size 40 shorts. These should probably sell really fast, honestly, just because it's starting to heat up outside and uh, summer wear, spring wear, and stuff like that is in demand right now. So, we got to manifest the Ed Hardy shorts. He's pricing it from 30 to 35. The Revere Wear saucepan, 30 to 35. 30 to $35. The gloves, 50 to 55 bucks on these gloves, guys. Never would I have thought. Uh, the Harry Potter, 15 bucks. Um, the Jack Daniels hat, 30 to 40 dollars. Nice. Um, the phones, 20 dollars each. 15 to 20 bucks or either that's a two that looks like a seven so 15 to 70 bucks the camera 20 to 25 the vintage hair dryer 25 bucks the 30 20 to 35 bucks for the vintage hair dryer and the shoe trees doesn't even matter because I'm not selling them uh, the polo the polo shirt I'm going to show you guys again. The polo shirt. 15 to 25 bucks. And then we got the Stonewash Levi's. 
50 to $55 for those. And uh, that's it. So, yeah, man. You see there, man. I spent 75 bucks for this box. It's valued to 250 to 300 bucks easy uh, easy so that's a profit range of 120 155 to 225 so that's crazy guys all this stuff found in the trash what do you guys think man would you guys get a box from flip the world I know I'm getting another one that's for sure this is crazy right here man the profit margins are just insane and you can't be mad at it man um shout out to you Chris I love the box man definitely gonna be doing business with you again Thank you for the shirt, homie. Uh, thanks, guys, for watching the video. If you like this type of content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Turn on the notification bell. Leave a like. Drop a comment down below. And come back and see me on the next one, guys. Until then, let's make this cash, guys. Peace.